Feels different from the last time you drove it, right? It feels a lot notchier. Yeah. Which I like. So some of y'all have been who have been around for a while probably remember I've done uh, quite a few different upgrades to like the OEM shifter stuff uh, in the past, and I've also done you know videos on them too. I'll put them in the description uh, in case y'all want to watch those too. But I've done hybrid racing shifter cable bushings, hybrid racing shifter base bushings, hybrid racing shifter cable inserts, hybrid racing transmission detent springs, K-Tune pivot ball and spring. Like I said, I have videos of these, you know, I'll put them in the description if y'all want to watch them because, you know, those are all part of what's going on right now. And so what we are going to be doing today is hybrid racing gear, gear selector springs. I've actually had these for a while. Some of y'all know that I've had these for a while because I posted them on Instagram a while. Like, I think I've had these since last, it's just since like the end of last year, um, near the end of uh, 2019. I just, we just haven't gotten around to doing them. These we're gonna go into the spring, or these are gonna go into the gear selector mechanism, which sits inside the transmission. It's gonna make going into gear and all that uh, a lot more positive, a lot more stronger, and all that. These definitely go hand in hand with those detent springs that I did a while back. I also got these, you know, shifter cable clips from Circuit Hero short shifter adapters. These go onto the the actual stick. These go on that, and these are supposed to eliminate a bunch of uh, a bunch of travel. This is kind of like a poor man's uh, short shifter, kind of in a way. And then I also got from Circuit Hero shift extender. If this is not really necessary, I'm actually not even sure if I'm gonna like it. Uh, I like the idea of the actual shifter knob a little bit closer to the steering wheel and a little bit, a little bit higher up. So I'm gonna put these on and try them out just to see if I like them or not. As far as I can tell right now, what I've done so far in those, in those past videos and what I'm, we're about to do in this video today are probably the best things you can do for your OEM shifter setup. I, I can't think of anything else that you can do to make it even better. I, I've said this before, but from here on out, all you really need to go from an aftermarket short shifter, aftermarket shifting cables. That's about it. I mean, before we get started, guys, please uh, like this video and subscribe. Thank you for your support, and let's get started. Well, of course, you want to remove all of this. All right, so once y'all move the intake battery, I'm not sure if we need to take the battery tray out. Uh, we might be able to reach under there. Yeah, there's like something right here. Yeah, there's a, like an Allen key or something. Yeah, I believe this is for the electronic lockout or the reverse, so I'm just going to plug that. Honda Bond from the factory, so we might have to use a 
screwdriver or something to help pry off the edges. Because uh, I doubt this thing has ever been taken off, so. There we go. There we go. So you take off this, it's a 12. 12. And you have to keep the entire assembly together, then you would swap all the springs over. Yep. <sighs> Go. I'll keep this together. And here are the uh, little stuff. There's a little washer thing, just leave that on. These are all that you need to remove. Oh, there's a washer on this bolt. Oh, okay. Washer on the bolts. That's why they tell you to keep it together because it's spring loaded. There's a spring right there. If you let this whole contraption go, you're gonna have to figure out how to put it back together. Yeah, and fuck all that. All right, so I put these uh, new springs from Hybrid Racing on here. The little one goes inside the big one, just like that, pretty much. The contraption goes back on the way you took it off, and this is where it helps to have a second person, because you need to hold it down while lining up the hole. It's snug, snugged up, it won't even tighten anymore. So there you go, that's how you get it on. That's how you get the springs in, but before you put it back in, make sure you clean off the old RTB off this surface and as well as this surface. And then when you apply the new RTB, which actually we're using Honda Bond HT, which is what you all should, should use too, to be honest. I've been told that's a lot better to, to apply a bead on here. It just, it, it's just a lot easier because uh, then you might, because you might risk getting a condom bond and stuff all over the neck of this if you do it this way. All right, guys, after spending some time cleaning off the surfaces on both of those spots, go ahead and put your Honda bond. And all you need to do is just put a small little bead around the, on the surface and also around the bolt holes. Putting the mechanism back in. Just remember there's some dowels. We don't really remember or know the uh, torque settings for the screws, but they're not, they're not big screws, so we're thinking like 10 foot-pounds, which is pretty much hand-tight snow. <laughs> Alright guys, we had to take it back out because the cable that goes here wasn't going on the, on the shifter. We found out it's because this part right here is supposed to be in this part right here, but it was out. We, we didn't understand how that happened, and it turned out that the, when we did this, this whole rod piece moved forward and this popped out, and we didn't realize that. Just make sure when doing this, this tab fits in this little divot in the rod while doing that. All right, guys, so all the screws, the cables, everything is back where it needs to be. Now, moment of truth, I gotta run through the gears just to make sure it's functioning right, that we did something right. Ooh. Yeah, definitely works. It definitely feels different too, yeah. When you're going into gear, it's a little bit more positive. That's how you do that, the gear selector springs. And now we are going to go on our way inside the car. Feels different from the last time you drove it, right? It feels a lot notchier. Yeah. Which I like. That combined with these short throw shift adapters, this OEM shifter should be as good as it possibly can without going full aftermarket. All right, so first thing we need to do with that is to remove the front, or to remove the center console. 12 seconds later. All right, so once you get your center console out, uh, disconnect the shifter cables. Where's the hole? Gotta go down more. Push it backwards a little. Oh, fuck it, bitch. It is right here. Uh, I can see the hole. Let me see. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. It looks like it lines up like that. I feel dumb as fuck. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. That, yeah, it even lines up here, like, on the top. Like, Yeah, it wasn't lining lines. up before. I was like, break out the Dremel. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> this piece goes on here like this. And then you're going to need a 6 mil. Six millimeter Allen 
right there for that side, and then a 14, oh no, actually a 13 mil for this side, which is a, an odd choice, but okay. I wanna go two side, just snug it up. And then that side's done. All you gotta do is put the OEM um, thing back in here. This right here, you see like the flat edges on that um, little thing on the little doohickey there. That's those flat edges go on this side. I think it's called a clevis. Clevis? Okay. Yeah. All right, and that, that side. Just gotta figure out which way it would go. Pin here, and then you replace your clevis, if that's what it's called, with the, with the Allen screw head and nut. I'm gonna snug it down. You have one more uh, smaller Allen key head screw and nut, and there is a hole for it. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to drill through the metal right here. So I'm gonna go. This, I'm gonna go find out which size uh, drill bit I need and drill that part out. Actually, before I go get the drill bit, I realized that I actually mounted this upside down, so it's right side up now. Make sure to stuff a rag under it, so that way there's no metal sheen that's going to your shifter mechanism or your shifter like the pivot ball and stuff. That's a through hole. That is a through Now I just need to clean up the metal shavings and put the screw in. Got our screw fitting in and just screw it on. It's a different uh, size, the, the smaller one. It's 10 mil for the nuts and a, do you remember what this was? 3 16 3 16 for the Allen key part. Alright, that's pretty tight. Alright, so there's there you have it. And uh, let's see how it looks. Oof. Damn, that's actually a big ass improvement. That really is short. It's a lot stiffer too going into gear because of the springs. Like I said, these were that we did in this video, plus the things that we did uh in the past, I think we discovered the poor man short shifter. Uh, there's one more thing we gotta install first though. I'm gonna get to it after I put all this stuff back together. 20 minutes later. For last but not least, the shifter extender. And I think it's all the way down. And all I need now. I will admit it does look a little goofy. <laughs> it does look a little goofy. Should I have it like that or like? I would just have it normal, like the the boot. Oh, have the silver, have the extender like, exposed. Yeah. You could also get a taller shift knob. That's true. Actually, I do want to get a taller one, uh, like a teardrop style. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find a fit. Yeah. for a while, see how I like it. After a while, I might take it off and see how it feels with it off, like how the shifter feels with it off. But yeah, just, just from just this alone, it feels pretty nice. I actually like how it's all that is. I do understand the placebo where it feels like it's making the throw longer because the leverage point is taller now, I guess, but hey, you know, semantics. But yeah, uh, if y'all found this video Informative, you know, hit the like button. Go ahead and comment if you guys have any uh, things to add to what we did today. Uh, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. And thanks all for watching. Peace.